Hey everyone, in this lesson we're going to talk about liver enzymes like AST and ALT, and we're also going to talk about transaminitis and what causes elevated liver enzymes. So liver enzymes are aspartate aminotransferase, or AST, and alanine aminotransferase, or ALT. So you might have heard of AST and ALT. What are these? These are both enzymes that are important for specific functions. And what aspartate aminotransferase does is it takes the oxaloacetate, adds an amino group to it, and makes aspartate. So it can add an amino group to oxaloacetate to make aspartate. It can do the opposite as well. It could remove the amino group from the aspartate and form oxaloacetate. So it has reverse roles. And it's important in the malate aspartate shuttle. Now, with regards to alanine amino transferase, it takes alanine and it can either remove the amino group from alanine to make pyruvate or can add the amino group to pyruvate to make alanine. So again, it can go in both directions and it's important in the glucose alanine cycle. So both of these are important with regards to these roles. Aspartate aminotransferase again is important in the malate aspartate shuttle. The alanine aminotransferase enzyme is important in the glucose alanine cycle. So why are these called liver enzymes? Well, these are both enzymes that are located in the liver. So what can happen is if there's any damage or stress or inflammation that affects the liver, it can lead to damage to the hepatocytes in the liver. And the hepatocytes can essentially dump out AST and ALT into the blood where we can measure them. When we see elevations in AST and ALT, we use the term transaminitis. This is a term you may see in clinical practice. Transaminitis is essentially a elevation in these enzymes and really the word comes from itis is inflammation and transamin means transaminases. These two enzymes are transaminases. So this is a term we use in clinical practice to essentially tell us that there's elevations in AST and ALT. So talking a bit more about these enzymes more specifically, aspirated aminotransferase has a half-life of 17 hours, and it becomes important to know about when we look at trends in each of these enzymes. So it has a shorter half-life than alanine aminotransferase, and AST is located in the muscle, heart, and liver. So it's located in multiple organs, whereas alanine aminotransferase, or ALT, has a half-life of 48 hours, so it has a longer half-life. And the way you can remember this is L for longer and S for shorter. And alanine amino transferase is more specific to the liver. Again, easy to remember, L for liver. So the reason I bring this up is because a lot of times you might see individuals have high AST or high ALT or both or just one or just the other. And this can help us determine why that is and where the damage might be coming from. With regards to AST, as I mentioned here, we can find it in the muscle, the heart, and the liver. So it's not specific to the liver. So for instance, in early stages of a myocardial infarction, a heart attack, we can actually see elevations in AST. If we have muscle damage, we can see elevations in AST. So that doesn't help us determine if there's any liver damage or hepatocyte damage. So ALT is more specific for the liver. So if you see ALT or if you see AST, we need to look at both of these to determine what the source may be and how long it's been happening. So because of this, oftentimes ALT can be a better measurement to determine if there's any injury to the liver as opposed to these other muscle and heart. So what are some of the causes of elevated liver enzymes? Viral hepatitis is one of the causes of elevated liver enzymes. We can think about viruses like hepatitis A, B, C, and E. We can think about EBV. We can think about CMV, so Epstein-Barr virus and cytomegalovirus. And the good thing about learning about the half-lives of each of these, AST and ALT, is that in viral hepatitis, in the early phase of viral hepatitis, we see AST being higher than ALT. But as time goes on, because AST have a, has a shorter half-life, it begins to be degraded and removed from circulation. And we actually see ALT being higher than AST. So this can help us determine if it's early phase or late phase of injury. So another cause of 
elevated liver enzymes is hepatobiliary obstruction. And this can lead to about two to eight times increased from normal with regards to these liver enzymes. Another cause is chronic persistent hepatitis. So it can lead to a moderate elevation and oftentimes we see AST to ALT ratio being less than one, which means there's more ALT than there is AST because this is chronic. There's gonna be more ALT than AST because of that longer half-life with regards to ALT. Another cause of elevated liver enzymes is biliary cirrhosis. Normally we see AST and ALT being equal and these enzymes can be about four times higher than normal. So those are some of the big causes I wanna talk about in this lesson, but there's many other causes of elevated liver enzymes that I wanna discuss as well. So one of those is non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, very common in the Western world. We can also see elevated liver enzymes in drugs, medications, and toxins, and those include ethanol, acetaminophen, herbal teas, and can be weight loss drugs and other medications and drugs we may not even think about. I'll talk about more about this in another lesson. There's also autoimmune causes that can lead to damage to the liver and elevated liver enzymes. And this is autoimmune hepatitis, oftentimes leading to very, very high levels of liver enzymes. You can also see ischemia as well, like shock liver, Bud Chiari, an infarction. All of these, again, lead to very high levels of liver enzymes, oftentimes in the thousands. Metabolic causes are also another category of causes that lead to elevated liver enzymes. And metabolic causes include Wilson's disease where there's copper deposition in the liver leading to damage. And hemochromatosis is another example. So this leads to iron deposition in the liver, again, leading to liver injury and damage. So with regards to causes of elevated liver enzymes, you wanna think about it broadly. So you wanna think about viruses, you wanna think about obstruction, you wanna think about a chronic persistent hepatitis, biliary cirrhosis, and you want to think about non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, drugs, medications, toxins, you want to think about autoimmune hepatitis, ischemic injury to the liver, and you also want to think about metabolic causes as well. So if you want to learn more about other liver conditions, please check out my gastroenterology playlist. And if you haven't already, please consider liking, subscribing, and clicking the notification bell to help support the channel and stay up to date on future lessons. And as always, thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.